a bit of a shock, first of all, because, um, you yeah, know, we obviously saw that, you know, he, he picked up the injury during the game and, um, yeah, he was sore at half time, but, you know, it was no doubt about him continuing. And so you, you kind of digest that. And then post game, uh, again, he was sore, but you kind of go, well, he's played 60 minutes, uh, sore ankle, uh, we'll tape it up and go again, you know. So it was, um, but it's, it, it's, I guess, and, and externally now people realise it's a testament to him as a person, you know, he's just, uh, he's, he's as tough as nails, as tough as they come. The fact that he played at that level, you know, for 60 odd minutes with a, a fractured ankle uh, was, uh, yeah, quite uh, outstanding. Um, like I said, I guess the shock of it wears off and then you just got to sort of process. Um, he's going to be missing for a while. Um, knowing him, he'll, he'll push the limits as to how long that is. Uh, and uh, also knowing him, you'll get daily updates about that through his Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, um, yeah, big blow, but for him personally, I guess, because he was he was having an outstanding season for us and really growing as a leader within the group. But uh, we've uh, dealt with setbacks before and we'll deal with this one. Look, it's, it's not going to be weeks, it'll be months, but sort of, um, you know, he's had surgery and you kind of know with surgery there's certain timelines, but because it is Vic and also I don't like giving timelines so early in, in the in the process of something like that because I think it puts un, you know, undue pressures on, on the player and also maybe some... You know, expectations. Um, I think once we get past, you know, the sort of rehab stage and he starts getting out there, we'll have a very clearer idea.